Many thanks for rejoining us again. And if you've just tuned in, the program is Good Morning Abuja, and it is showing from the Unity Station NTA Channel 5 Abuja. Yes, we have a very interesting topic before us this morning to discuss. We want to talk about the business opportunities available in the FCT. Yes, how we can prepare our minds for business first and what are the business opportunities here and how we can as well tap into these business opportunities. And we have our resource person with us this morning who will be answering all of these questions. And help us welcome Engineer Abayomi Onosonya, who is a Global Director, Africa House. Engineer, you're welcome to the Good program. Morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes. Thank you. Good morning. Business yes. opportunity available in the FCT. Yes, before we talk about that, first of all, how can we, uh, on our own, you know, prepare our minds for business first? Well, good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, Abuja. Good to be here. Um, the journey of entrepreneurship, like you said, starts with the mindset. And, um, you know, for anything to become good in life, you have to first visualize it in your mind, and then you, you can now start putting it into practical steps. So the, the, the first step is try to understand what you want to achieve. You have to list your goals. What, wh why are you going into business? You know, because many people fail this test, this litmus test, they believe, oh, I want to make money and that's it. No, it goes beyond money because in the end, you might have money and be not, you know, not be fulfilled. So you must list your, your, your objectives. Why do I want to do this? Is it to make an impact? Of course, making money is one of the factors. And then you have to ask yourself, which sectors do, do I find my uh, particular interest in? Is it farming? Is it agriculture? Is it beauty? Is it cosmetics and all that? So you, you have to create that you know, frame frame that in your mind first. Once that is settled, then you cannot decide to go into the, the practical steps. Sure. Okay, so let's begin to look at the opportunities now, the business opportunities that are valuable in the FCT. All right. Um, FCT is rich. It's a very, very rich uh, re uh, territory. And uh, I would say that you have to look at how blessed we are in the FCT. And if you look at all the seven local uh, council areas in Abuja, in Abuja, the FCT, you discover that everywhere has something to offer everyone. You see, and um, one of so, such opportunities that the first in line is, is in the agricultural sector. Okay. You see, many people don't know this. When you, uh, you know, when, you, when you're not from the FCT, and you tell them that uh, FCT has X, Y, Z, FCT is not a dry area, is it not? I like, know. If I, some, FCT had more rain than most, some of the areas, some, some other states in Nigeria, in fact, you can't predict the rain in FCT. It might rain now, and then in the next two minutes, it rains, and then the next two hours. So, because of that, we have good agricultural output. And uh, so one of such products which we're famous for is cashew. Another one is sesame. Another one is even plantain. I didn't know this until wow. I was able to move around. FC has some fantastic plantain uh, crops. You know, like if you go to places like uh, Abaji, Kuali, we, we will grow plantain. Even wow. almost close to a dose state, in fact. You see? So we've got plantain. We've got uh, cassava. Okay. Yes, cassava, cassava is money. Know, yes. You know, and you know, if you go to the market today and ask how much is the mudro of Bengali, they will tell you a thousand four, a thousand six, even sometimes two thousand, depending on the quality. So FCT has that. You see, so and also yam, yam tubers. So these are some of the opportunities that you can tap into in the, in the agricultural sector. And then as we proceed, we'll talk about the other opportunities in different sectors aside agriculture. Okay, now that you told us uh, where and where we can find what and what in the FCT, now how can uh, residents of FCTs or individuals that are resident in the Federal Capital Territory tap into these uh, business opportunities available here? Well, in that to be able to tap into this opportunity, the first step is you have to leave your house. Because <laughs> <laughs> many people believe that uh, opportunities must come to you in the house. No, 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 no. You must be adventurous. That's the, number, the biggest and the more requirement. Adventurous mean move around the FCT. Many people have lived in the FCT for years and they've only been to Guarimpa, Marapa, and then the fathers, the good is probably Zuba. FCT is big. You know, you need to travel around those area councils. The first time I went to Buari, I was like, wow, this place is big. And then you go to Abaji. Abaji is another planet entirely. They've got a whole lot to offer. So you need to go out there, explore the whole of FCT, and then you begin to identify what things you can find where. If you go to Kuje, you can easily find cashew. Easily, you can get cashew. You go to Gwagwalada, you will see sesame. If you go to Abaji, if you go to Kuali, you find cassava, you find plantain, and all those. So the, 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 the first opposite thing you have to do is travel the FCT, 
look at this opportunity, see how you as a person can interact with the locals to say, you know what, maybe you come in as an investor, as a partner, or you decide to acquire a piece of land, or you decide to say, you know what, I'm going to be involved in the processing side of things. So you need to move, you need to move around the ability to see the opportunities. Wow, well, but you have mentioned um, some of the, the clubs and some of the universities. Now, for somebody who just had this, I want to take advantage, what's the first step? As a professional, what's the first step you feel that person should? Well, let's say, for example, you want to tap into the, let's say, the cassava value chain, mm. because cassava has become money now. <laughs> you know, it's a new gold now. So what that person needs to do is, like I said, travel to the place, identify the opportunities available, identify the land you want to buy or lease or rent. And of okay. course, you must be careful as well, because there are some certain lands that are under government acquisition. So okay. you need to be careful, you know, because people will tell you everywhere is for sale. Just bring money and we'll get it. So once you've identified that area, go to the area council and, and ask them and do a search to say, you know what, can I buy this land? Can I lease it? Can I rent it? So once you've discovered all of that, then you now ask yourself, how much do I have? And this is where many people go around. Don't think of, you know what, I must have a billion to start. No, start where you are. Even if you can afford just two, three plots, start from that two, three plots, and then grow gradually until you are able to say, you know what, I want to go even further. And then we should not forget the processing side of things as well. You don't necessarily need to actually get your hands dirty to be able to tap into opportunities in the city. You can be an off-taker. Mm -hmm. I can go to Guadalajara and say, you know what, my job is to buy cash from the cash traders. I buy from them. I process and I sell in bottles. And not only can I sell within the FCT, I can sell to other states in Nigeria. Cash in Abuja that you can buy for 2,000 can be sold in Lagos for 2,000, 5,000, 3,000. And then even there's an export angle to it as well. So you, you can tap into it in different areas based on your budget, based on the level of effort you want to put into that particular uh, enterprise. Okay, quickly, let you, let's look at uh, some of the challenges, you know. Uh, but since you prepared our minds that uh, anything you want to do, you have to really prepare your mind at it before you start. Uh, you've given us places that we can see so many uh, seats in the Federal Capital Territory. Uh, talk to us briefly about the opportunity and how we should not allow uh, the opportunities and the challenges and how we should not allow the challenges to bring us down, but to rather push us into uh, going into business more. Well, there are a couple of challenges, but I could talk about a few of them. One of them is insecurity. Okay. And uh, because you've, we've had cases of people who've gotten land in maybe Wibuari or some areas in Abuja, and they've complained that we're scared there's security challenges and, what, or, and whatnot. So I, I wouldn't, uh, what I'll say to them is don't let that discourage you. Because in the end, everybody must eat. We have to eat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and uh, also another challenge is the issue of uh, clashes between the elders and the farmers. Mm -hmm. So I believe every crisis or every problem has an amicable solution. And, and I was just telling someone before I entered the studio that see, if you're trying to do any enterprise, especially in farming, large scale, find out who and who operate within the area. Yeah. And find out the association head of the so-called uh, elders or even the farm association. Mm -hmm. See them, let them know what you want to do. Let them know that, see, this is for the common good. So in the end, when there's a crisis or there's a problem, you can always go to the head and say, see, this has happened. How do I get compensated? So that way we can, you know, avoid confrontation. Mm -hmm. And the third challenge is always finance. And like I always tell people, don't try to get have a billion or a trillion to start. So start where you are. Find your start, even if it's 100,000 higher. There are lands you can buy for 45,000 a plot. There are places you can even lease. Please, lease. Yeah. Yeah. You start from leasing an hectare, two hectares, and you grow gradually, and before you know it, even the banks will be the ones approaching you to give you finance. So this is how, these are some of the challenges that we face, and maybe all these challenges can, can be solved with proper planning. Okay, for somebody watching now that wants to you know, take advantage of the opportunities, uh, what would you say to the person? I would say, I would say to the person, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to go out there. Don't opportunities will not come to you. You have to go search for the opportunities. Don't think that okay, fine. I will just be on my computer and I'll find them. No, no, no. You need to be adventurous. Go out there, travel to all the regions in FCT, see what and what they have to offer. Check the market realities, like I mentioned, Gary. Because even tomato, you know, now we have the tomatoes like eleven thousand naira per, per basket. So you can tap into that opportunity. You can say, you know what, I'm going to start a tomato farm in my area and then, you know, be able to solve some of these problems that we're having as a nation. So the, the, the key is just go out there, explore. Mistakes will be made, but those mistakes will guide you into becoming a better person. Okay, so let's look at the opportunities outside agriculture in the FCT. Well, you know, interestingly enough, 
FCT is one of the, the minerals capital of, of Nigeria. Many people do not say that again. Exactly. <laughs> minerals capital of Nigeria. Wow. Yes. Because of our proximity to Nasarawa State and certain states of the Federation, FCT is littered with minerals. And in fact, FCT has got a huge deposits of lithium. Mm -hmm. And we all know lithium is the energy of the future. And FCT, as an individual, you, you can tap into this sector. And uh, the first step is you need to go and do your, your get geological survey maps from the uh, Ministry of Mines and, and, and Solid Minerals to know where, where these deposits are. And then you can now lease some of these lands. And they're easy to do. Just file an application to the ministry. You go through the minister's office, you get an approval. You want a piece of land where you can ex do exploration. And trust me, in the next few years, five to 10 years, now everybody will be rushing to Nigeria to buy lithium. Yeah. That's just lithium. Hmm. What about gemstones? Abuja has got a whole lot of gemstones available that are worth trillions of dollars, not billions, yeah. trillions of dollars. That individuals can go into, you can be a miner, you can be a trader, you can be the guy who polishes and, uh, and, 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 and finishes the gems, or you can be an exporter. So these opportunities are available here in the FCT. So guys, FCT is blessed. So as we talk about opportunities available here in FCT, let's quickly look in how government can come in to help. Well, um, one, one key area that the government needs to come in is um, advocacy. Let people know that these opportunities exist, but this is what we're doing in NTA. Yes. That's our job in is always the best, right? So we, we should we do advocacy that people know these things are available. And two, government should provide a platform where people can easily tap into all these opportunities. For example, like a one-stop shop. Thankfully, Abuja has what we call the Abuja Enterprise Agency yes. that creates a one-stop shop where you can go in as an entrepreneur and they'll guide you to all the licenses you need and then they'll be able to say, you know what, we'll guide you through the process. So government is trying their best, but they can do much, much more by you know, letting people know doing trainings and the capacity building programs to allow, you know, to build, you know, to, to, to I want to use the word ginger, mm -hmm. the entrepreneurial yeah. spirit and encourage, and encourage us mm -hmm. uh, as a people. So mm -hmm. these are some of the things the government can do to help us uh, as, as residents of our city. Okay. okay. Let's begin to look at the finances now. For To start, mm -hmm. from your own point of view, What's, I don't want to say how much. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, well, I'll give you the numbers. Okay. See, for, for, for a farmer, if someone wants to go into farming, for example, mm. you need a minimum budget of around 200,000 naira. Wow. So, what, what do I see 200,000 naira? Is you're looking at it from the angle of leasing the land, not owning it. So, you okay. can lease an hectare for around 40 to 50,000, depending on where you go in FCT. So, you've got the land. You need another fifty to sixty thousand for agricultural inputs, fertilizers, the seeds, and all that. Mm. And then the other one for miscellaneous expenses like clearing the land, labor charges, and all that. With that, you're set for for three months. And after three months, the average will come, and then that will pay that one thousand for invested, and then you have a profit. And with that, you can go and expand your business. For food processing, on the other hand, you need a minimum budget of about two million, all, all the way to ten million, because you need equipment. You mm. see. And uh, for the mining sector that we mentioned, you need a budget of okay, several hundreds. And in fact, this is where people need to collaborate. Yes. You need to come together as yeah. find potential partners within Nigeria, even outside the country, to be able to pay the, 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 the to lease the, the mine, to buy equipment, to pay your laborers, to, to, to be able to take care of the necessary things uh, uh, you, you need to do. So there's a budget for everybody. That's what I'm trying to say. We started from all the way from 200,000 all the way to hundreds of millions. So you have no excuse. There's something for everybody. Don't say investment or business is for rich people. Okay, since business is not only for rich people, uh, how can, you know, here we often ask how, 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 because it's like we are in the classroom. How can we uh, bring about a partnership if we want to go into business? Well, partnership can be in two ways. Okay. You can partner with a friend of yours, or your family members. You can also partner with the government. Okay. Many people know you can actually partner with the federal government, you see, or even the FCT, you know. And um, of course, for every partnership, it has to be symbiotic. That means everybody benefits. Okay. We should not see it as he's bringing all the money, he's doing all the work, and they want to enjoy it. So we need to, this is where we, the African mentality comes into play. We need to see ourselves as business people. Mm -hmm. Not as this person. No, I don't see you. Yes, you are my partner. That, that doesn't mean you are from your outside evil, your boy, your EDB. No, no, no. That's all those things have to be put aside. Look at it strictly from the angle of business. Everybody will perform their duties, not just I'm dropping the money, I'm going to bed. No, 
Mm. Everybody must be active, active partners, and then we must see each other that we're working together to achieve a common goal, which is profitability and to create employment in our nation. So this is the way we still approach partnerships. And I often tell people, avoid family members as much as possible. Why? Because it's difficult to, you know, fire a family member. Yes. You know, the <laughs> but I always tell people, if I cannot fire you, I will not hire yeah, you. Yeah. So we need to put that into perspective. Uh, uh, thank, thank you so, so much uh, for your time you. with us this yes, morning. Now. Uh, what are you waiting for? I have started, started already. I have started already. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Angelia. I'm not sorry. It's it. always good to have you giving us ideas. And I call them divine ideas. Wow. Well, well. Thank you so much. All right, we've been talking about business opportunities in the FCT. We hope you've learned something and you're ready to run. To start your own business. So say a very big thank you to you, engineer. Welcome. Wow. Okay. Thank you. We hope you are ready because we are ready. All right, stay tuned. The program continues after this.